Good evening, everybody here and afar, virtually or not. If anybody doesn't know me who's watching this service, I'm Terry Bissell, and I will be leading the service tonight. Before we get into the actual Ash Wednesday service, I would like just to, to take a minute to, to have a moment of solidarity for the Ukraine people and the neighboring countries. And it's been a little scarier place these days. And if anything can help us, it's the power of prayer. So if you just take a moment, Alice will play a minute. Just think, think prayers for comfort, peace, and strength to the people that are, that are both fighting and are working to support those refugees coming into their country.
Thank you. Well, welcome to the Ash Wednesday service as we, we begin Lent. I'm just going to give you a little bit of an introduction so you know what to, to expect. I'm going to do some readings, and at the end of each short reading, I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath. So if you can, if you can take a nice, slow four or five count in and a nice, even out four or five counts out, just so you can really get the benefit of calming your soul and your heart and, and giving, bringing peace in, into us. When it's time at the end to do ashes, Alice will play a little bit and I will in, invite you to come up and then you can make the sign of the cross. The ashes are here, you can make the sign of the cross yourself on your forehead or on your hand, or not at all, whatever your preference is. With that, will you join with me in the gathering, in the silence of this evening, in the quiet of the day, in the peace of this place, we come with dust and ashes from which we came and will return and pause for breath. And we'll continue with a reading from Joel 2, verses 1 and 2. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is near, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Like blackness spread upon the mountains, a great and powerful army comes. Their like has never been from of old, nor will it be again after them in ages to come. Now you'll join me again in a reflection. In the silence of this evening, in the quiet of the day, in the peace of this place, we come with ashes, in, uh, dust, sorry, in ashes, in penitence and confession, seeking forgiveness and renewal, and we pause. Deep breath. And another reading from Joel, skipping to verses 12 and 13. Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. Again, we'll go do a reflection together. In the silence of this evening, in the quiet of the day, in the peace of this place, we come with dust and ashes, finding our way here in the presence of forgiveness, and we pause. And again, back to Joel, verse 17. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord, and do not make your heritage a mockery, a byword among the nations. Why should it be said among the peoples, where is their God? And once more a reflection. In the silence of this evening, in the quiet of the day, in the peace of this place, we come with dust and ashes in thanksgiving and praise, in hope and in peace. And we pause. Now will you bow your head in prayer. May the dust of the Savior's stories mark us for this journey. May the dust of the roads he traveled Guide us on this Lenten path. May even the dust of the words of love be enough to hold us through this darkness. And in such dust, where footsteps are left, may we place our sins and our shadows, our hurts and our alleluias, folded away until the dawn of life. May the dust from the cross call us and leave footprints on the way. We now come to the time of the imposition of ashes. You, you can come forward and receive ashes as you make the sign of the cross on your forehead and or your hand. Repeat the prayer to yourself or out loud if you'd like. You are but dust. 
Now in repentance, walk the way of the cross, for God in love promises to lift you into new life. So Alice will play a minute, give you anybody a chance to come up. As you go back to your seat, you can continue deep breathing if that is comfortable for you. Breathing in and out, breathing in positive energy, and breathing out, letting go of all the hurts and the corrupts, breathing in new life of the spirit and the promise of the God, and this can be done as many times as, as, as you wish and is comfortable for you. Now I will send you with these final words. In the silence of this evening, in the quiet of the day, in the peace of this place, we now go with dust and ashes, forgiven and renewed, forgiven and loved again, forgiven and companions on the way. Blessing, go in peace, travel in peace, share God's peace. Amen. Thank you.